Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so it is not Thursday, but we are doing keto cocktail. Um, I'm afraid I had a little issue with the uh, modem, like basically blowing up. Um, we had a really bad storm. So uh, today we're doing our very first fall cocktail, which I'm very excited about because it does feel like fall today. It's a beautiful day out, but it is a little bit nippy in the air, so I love that. Today we are doing a spiced maple fizz uh, cocktail, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, there are a few more ingredients in this recipe than normal, but they're very simple and a lot you will have on hand and some, if you're doing keto, you will not probably have on hand. So what we are going to do is we are gonna make a spiced maple syrup um, with just a couple ingredients and it's basically, uh, you're gonna need a maple syrup that is keto. This is actually a keto bourbon maple syrup. So we're gonna use that one, some cinnamon sticks. Um, you are going to need an orange, you're gonna need a lemon. You're gonna need some orange bitters. Uh, this is the kind, again, everything will be listed in the description box. Orange bitters. Um, you're going to need a really good bourbon that you like. Um, this particular one is Bullet 95, um, which uh, tends to, I'm not a huge bourbon person, but um, it has a really nice smell to it, and um, my husband's likes it. Um, and then Prosecco. Yes, even in fall, there is Prosecco. So those are the ingredients um, besides water um, and besides some fancy cute little ice cubes that we did. So I will show you those. The first thing we need to do is just make a simple syrup, yet not. Um, it is a spiced maple syrup. So let's go to the stove. Let's grab those ingredients. For that, you're gonna, we're gonna need the zest of half an orange. We're going to need the syrup and we are going to need cinnamon sticks. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so I have four tablespoons of water in this little saucepan. I am going to add four tablespoons of our keto bourbon infused maple syrup to that and it smells divine. Gorgeous. And then we're gonna add one cinnamon stick. We're going to bring that um, to high heat and get it boiling. Let me just blend this together. We got the peel of half an orange ready to go. We want this to come to a boil. This is what it'll look like. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, so it's been boiling for a few minutes here, so it's nice and thick. Um, what I'm gonna do is turn the heat off. I'm gonna add the orange zest and let it cool. And um, then I'm gonna go ahead and strain it, cool it, and we'll be ready. All right, you guys, we have our maple syrup syrup already. So the maple syrup, water, cinnamon stick, and orange peel in here. Um, it smells divine. Okay, so we are ready to go. All right, let's get this party started. All right, we've got our cocktail shaker full of ice. First thing, ounce and a half of your bourbon. Yummy. Two ounces of lemon juice. Let me grab a rag because Marble and acid do not go well together, so we, we don't wanna ruin the countertops. One ounce of lemon juice. Perfect. One to two dashes of orange bitters. Um, since I don't have a dasher, I have a little dropper. I'm gonna put a couple drops 
I don't know, maybe about five or six drops. It smells so good, by the way. Let's see. Mmm, it smells really, really good. Um, okay. Then, this is going to be to your taste. So, I'm going to start... Um, so I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half, this is a two, two tablespoon tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of our little maple syrup and I'm going to see if we need to sweeten it at the end. A little shaky shaky here. Glasses and they're actually plastic and they're double insulated which look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see but they're double insulated, they're really pretty and I thought it would be perfect for this cocktail. So, let's pour in. And then we are going to top with bubbly Prosecco. Woo! Party's starting now. Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to garnish with an orange. We have orange bitters in there. We have um, the here we have the orange zest in there. And hold now. And what we have here are maple leaves. So let me show you. See how I have a little trio of maple leaves that I dusted in gold. Beautiful. We'll just put a few of those. I have all sorts of different little gorgeous leaves. Look how pretty this one is. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. We're just gonna sit them right at the top. We're gonna take that cinnamon stick we used and we're gonna put that in as well. It's just beautiful. And then I'm gonna take another one of those little leaves. Remember, this is a cold drink. It's not a warm drink. And I'm gonna just sit it right on top. Moment of truth, let's give it a try. Oh, you can smell that bourbon. So let's see if we actually need to add more of the maple syrup. I don't know. I'm gonna try adding about another tablespoon of the maple syrup. Cause I like it a little, I think I'm gonna like it a little sweeter. So let me try that. Give it a little stir. By the way, as the um, maple leaves melt, you're gonna get an iridescence from that beautiful gold glitter. Just to add that extra spark. That was it. I would say, mm, that's pretty good. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. So this would be four tablespoons in total. Let me try that. Ding, ding, ding. Mm. Okay, so here's what I will have changed. Instead of a tablespoon and a half, I went to four tablespoons of the maple syrup. The other thing I would do is I think there's a little bit too much lemon juice in here. So I would go to half an ounce versus one ounce. And by the way, in the description box, I put the recipes for you guys. So I'm gonna put it the way that I think that it should be done, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so, but very good, very warming. Bourbon's gonna warm you up, even though it's still a, um, chilled um, cocktail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna switch glasses. I actually don't like this glass for this cocktail. And sometimes it happens, you guys. I've never made this. I love these glasses. And they come in different colors, so you get it by them a set. Of course, I'll list them. I'll list both. Um, but I love that this one has the orange, so I'm gonna pour this in here. Perfect. I'm gonna pop the little 
uh, yeah, I just think that's prettier. And then you can see, look at the glitter. Okay, let me see. I'm t I know it's strange, but really a glass does sometimes make all the difference. Um, and I think that a wider rimmed glass, one is going to show the beautiful ice cubes and the beautiful garnish. Uh, number two, a clear glass is going to show that beautiful um, gold iridescent glitter as those maple leaves um, melt. Um, I love these glasses and I'm definitely going to use them, but not for this cocktail when we start doing warm cocktails. Which you never know, might be next week, who knows. Um, but yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm not a bourbon drinker at all. Um, and this is absolutely delicious. So what are the changes that I would make? Okay, we've already made a couple, haven't we? We've added more, and I, I list now the so that you don't have to listen to my voice or hear or rewind. I put the recipe in the description box for you guys. So here's the thing. I would use a wider glass. This is a beautiful glass. Um, I love that they come in different colors so that if you are having a party or just even a dinner, um, everybody gets a different color and they know which glass is there. So I think that's genius. I like a wider mouth glass. One, it will show that beautiful maple um, ice that you've done. And then as that ice melts, it's going to give this beautiful gold glitter beautiful I mean just stunning I think it's so beautiful so one change the glass two with the recipe uh, go with again if you're a bourbon drinker sure a tablespoon and a half um, would work just fine with regards to that the maple syrup um, but I am NOT and I want it to be a little bit sweeter and this is in no way a sweet cocktail, okay? It's not a lemon drop, it's not some of the other things that we've, it's not a margarita. This is not a sweet cocktail. Um, so four tablespoons, although it sounds like a lot, it really is not. Um, it, Cause it's not four tablespoons of maple syrup. Remember, we've got water in there, we've got orange zest. Um, uh, so I would change that. So up the, the sweetness. Um, and then the other thing, there was another thing, is decrease the amount of acidity. Um, so instead of one ounce, I would go half an ounce of um, a lemon. I would love to just use the orange, but again, orange is higher in uh, carbohydrates than um, a lemon. So I have to use it sparingly. Um, uh, and that's what makes it a keto cocktail. And I think it's beautiful. Tastes wonderful, and I think as the flavors sit there, you can make a punch. This might be a great, um, we're having a Halloween party, it might be a nice cocktail, I don't know. Um, as it sits there, the the flavors just start to meld together. So I love that I could put the cinnamon stick in this cocktail. It, it just, everything is sort of just melding together. Um, the orange, even just the orange slice sitting on top um, is adding to the flavor. And, oh, it smells so good. It's a good one. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you did, will you take a minute, hit that thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Cheers.